Раз. Точно 90. Руки. И раз. И рука выше 90 нога. Линия. Лучше. Даша 90 работает. 90. Плывите, не скачите, плывите. Раз, готовы. Наша подбородок выше. Не спешите скачки. И мы двигаемся. We've chosen the Giselle because it's a, it's one of the greatest ballets ever. It's a classic. It's not a Russian classic, and it's a, it must have been familiar to the dancers that um, were in this group because they all have classical training, uh, coming from different uh, schools, from different the theaters in Ukraine. Giselle in the rep of most of the companies there. Uh, this production of Giselle is based on um, historical documents, it's historically informed. We're using uh, notations from the 19th century, one by André Justamont, a French choreographer who documented the production of 1860s, probably based on the original from Paris. And another notation is by Nikolai Sergeyev, uh, the regisseur of Mariinsky Theatre, who, uh, who notated the last Petit Pas version of Giselle. And they, not they notated it during the rehearsals when uh, Petit Pas prepared Anna Pavlova for her debut, and also another ballerina, Italian, uh, Grimaldi, for a couple of years before. So these, these are main sources for the, for the choreography and mise-en-scene, and also some very old scores from uh, St. Petersburg, from the Bolshoi, from um, Denmark, from Paris, a lot of documents altogether. I did choreograph Giselle for the Bolshoi a couple of years ago, this is not the exact replica, but there are a lot of similar similarities because it is based on the same documents. The group, we have less people than we need. So the group of peasants in the first act, the group of Willis in the second act are smaller. Uh, and um, we have a little less people as hunters and so on. There are differences. And the main difference between these two productions is, of course, the design, because there is no design for that production. We were given uh, the, the costumes and the sets for free uh, by uh, Royal Birmingham Ballet, and uh, this is an, an incredible gesture of goodwill. We're very grateful for that. Uh, and also, um, the London performances will be accompanied by English National Opera Orchestra, which is another great gift to our group. February 24th, I was in Moscow, and the news of the war uh, uh, was um, shocking. It was shocking. There was agony. I, uh, the whole world collapsed for me because both countries I mean, I grew up in Ukraine, I'm, my mother is Russian, my father, uh, and we lived in Kiev. Uh, but I studied in, in, in Moscow, was born in St. Petersburg. That's, that's just horrible, it's unimaginable to, to see uh, this, uh, this, the war going on, the, the, to see the aggression, to see this war crimes happening. And uh, it's 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 a uh, it's a moral catastrophe catastrophe for Russia, I think. I'm not talking about the U Ukrainian. It's tragic, but the spirit of Ukraine is uh, it's like a flower opening. Uh, there there is something beautiful in in the way we all are. All the Ukrainians are united now, like never before.
fighting the enemy because people are dying every day but Ukraine has to win there is no other way you see the whole world supporting Ukrainians they show the bravery and the spirit rare spirit I'm very proud My name is uh, Martin, uh, I'm from Kharkiv, it's uh, a little bit part of Ukraine on the east and uh, when the war started uh, I danced in uh, Kyiv State Ballet School, I took a train and after train was a uh, bus, after bus uh, plane, plane to Monaco and uh, I stayed in Monaco four months and uh, after this I came here and uh, continue dance. This actually is my first company and first time I dance Giselle and uh, I love it. Uh, my name is Evelina, I'm from Odessa and uh, I've studied in Kyiv State Ballet School. Uh, I started to do dancing when I was about eight years old and uh, I started ballet thanks to my grandmother because it was her dream to be a ballerina but uh, she couldn't do that and after that she decided to make a ballet dancer from me and she found uh, ballet school and after that I got there and she was so happy and after some time I've entered a ballet college in Kyiv so when the war started, I was uh, on the last course in this uh, college and uh, I expected to graduate from it, but uh, when the war started, our lessons uh, were delayed. So uh, thanks to my parents, they helped me to get out of the country and uh, I studied in Lithuania. And after some time, in June, I came here and now I work here and I'm very happy. I'm Alexey Knyaskov, I'm principal dancer of Kharkiv National Opera. Uh, I began to dance there from uh, 2013th and uh, worked uh, there till war. I stayed uh, in Kharkiv till uh, 3rd of March after I moved on the west of Ukraine um, and uh, after I get uh, like invitation uh, to enjoy Ukrainian uh, United Ukrainian Ballet here in Hague and uh, I thought it will be a nice opportunity, nice uh, um, alternative to not think about war to not lose uh, my shape as a ballet dancer, to continue to dance. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, I really enjoy this company. <laughs> I had a message from Alexei um, back when we were on tour with ENB in New York and basically we met for 
a coffee and he described the idea of the project and I thought that it was actually incredible, possibly unrealistic, but and challenging obviously to bring logistic wise to manage to bring so many dancers together from different companies in Ukraine. Um, but yeah, I agreed obviously to commit my time and also because I have lots of friends here and lots of people who I know and in any way that I can help, I would love to help. This production is um, a little bit different from the other versions of Giselle and the one that I've done as well. Um, in Act One, uh, she's not ill, she's not sick, she doesn't have any heart problems. She's just a girl who loves life. She's full of life, She, full of joy, she loves to dance, and she's blindly in love with Albert. Completely, fully in love. Um, so, which slightly changed the dynamic for the act one, because I do think it's actually, um, it make it work better, because we don't, necessarily feel sorry for her from the beginning and we don't see the tragedy coming so when it does it it hits it hits more it i think it has a deeper and sharper reaction and emotional connection to the audience it's interesting because the meeting one of my favorite scenes is uh, the first meeting the first scene between albrecht and giselle and she's not, she's a, she has a strong character, in fact, here. She is actually quite pissed that she doesn't see him in time, where they agreed to meet for a date. Um, fairly pissed, so <laughs> she's actually kind of telling him off and like saying, where have you been? I've been here waiting for you. What, what are you thinking about? And yeah, and that's a, it's pure flirting and having fun and they playing the game but they both enjoying it and yeah and that makes him fall in love with her as well completely overlooking the fact that he already committed himself to another relationship so you know <laughs> um yeah and so she's a uh, She's this sunshine. Um, she's also a little bit of a bad influence on her friends because she's saying to them, it's been a lot of work, let's stop working for a little bit, let's dance, let's have fun. So it is a bad influence because they have to work. Um, but yeah, she's the soul of, of her circle, of her people. And of course, when the mad scene come, when the madness come, it's a heartbreak and it's such a sharp one. It's a humiliation, an embarrassment in front of all the people that she knows. She feels a complete fool for trusting so much, for loving so much, um, for telling everyone how much she's in love. While all of this drama unraveling in front of everyone's eyes, including uh, Batilde, which is also a slight difference from the other productions because usually in the middle of the med scene, the court, they leave the stage, which is not the case here. They all stay. So all of this transformation that happens in her heart and in her mind it's all in front of everyone's eyes and everybody looking. And nobody can help. And that's how she dies. There's a difference as well in the end of Act Two. And I personally absolutely love that tiny little mime scene in the, in the end of Act Two. 
because when Albrecht brings her back to the grave, she gives her forgiveness. She gives her last goodbye and she says, she says to him, but you should go, you should go to the one you married to. And that is it. That's what he's staying with. Um, what can I add about Giselle is um, that's one of the most um, beautiful characters to work with, to play with, to portray, to find different shades of the character. And I think that's what we've been trying to do. To have someone like Alina um, next in the studio is a complete inspiration and always has been. Um, and to have my fellow dancers, Ukrainians, in the studio, seeing them working hard in the circumstances that I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy to just completely forget about what's happening outside and keep dancing. It's actually really hard. There's days when um, everybody struggling to keep going, but everybody keeps supporting each other. And we know why we're doing this for. And we know that this is our little bit of help. And that makes everyone, everybody to keep going, so. Thank you. 